Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring the Great Salt Lake, very close to Salt Lake City, Utah. Hey there you guys, we're back here in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you don't know why I'm saying that, it's because we have other two videos of Salt Lake City in my channel. The first one is of course of downtown, so if you guys are interested in learning what there is to do and see in downtown Salt Lake City, then that's the video for you. If you're more of an outdoors hiking type of person, then we also have a video where we hike all the way to the top of Ensign Peak. If you guys are interested in any of those videos, I'll leave them in the description below for you guys to check out. Anyways you guys today we are visiting another amazing location very close to Salt Lake City. We're gonna go visit the Great Salt Lake which is one of the biggest lakes in the Western Hemisphere and also the namesake of Salt Lake City. First we're gonna be making a stop at the Great Salt Dare which is an event center with a lot of history and significance here in Utah. So if you guys are interested come with me. check out what is right behind me like I said at the beginning our first stop of the day is gonna be the Great Saltaire let me show you real quick there's a sign back there that says that this is a concert venue there's also a seasonal gift shop and there's also restrooms on premises I'm gonna show you a quick 360 degree view of this place so that you can see why having restrooms here is very important as you can see, we're sort of in the middle of nowhere. I find it so crazy, you guys. Check out the mountains over there. There's some more over here, some more that way, and some more over there. So we're right in the middle of everything. This is actually not the first or most popular location for people who venture out this far. There's actually a state park very close by, which we'll be going to next after this. But before that, I wanna tell you a little bit about this place. This concert center used to be a place where young members of the Mormon church could come and have fun, but in a more healthy and monitored way, of course. Course. This is actually not the first iteration of the Great Salt Air. There's actually been two before this one. The Great Salt Air number one was actually finished in 1883 and it was a project owned by the Mormon Church and a state railway company. That first iteration of the Great Salt Air was actually the most popular amongst the three. And it makes sense. Back in the day, there were not a lot of options or competition for these places. So the first version of this place was a lot of fun back in the day. Unfortunately, one day it was destroyed by a fire. After that, there was a second version of this place that was created. This place used to be sort of like a pier. There was water very close by, so outside people could go ahead and swim, and inside there would be a lot of events that would take place. One of the first things that this place was known for was a huge dance floor. I think I saw online that at one point it had one of the biggest here in the US or something. Then when World War II started, it was closed, and after that they tried opening it but then it suffered the same fate as the first one it was also consumed in a fire anyways they did build a third version of the Great Saltaire it's this one of course at some point this place was forgotten but then eventually it was revitalized once again and turned into what it is today a concert venue so there you have it guys that is the history of the Great Saltaire in a nutshell over here in the back I've heard that there's something interesting slash funny to see Let's see if it lives up to the hype. So I found over here in the back, uh, this guy called Ryan. He does have this little airplane that he built himself and he's flying it over here. Yeah, so I do a lot of different projects. I do everything from flying planes to programming to who knows what next. And you say you have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. Well, Hit what's me the up name? on uh, Cyberpunk 64-bit. I'll definitely include a link in the description. All right, guys, so he's just setting it up, but we're gonna see this little demonstration. <laughs> Whoa! 
Those skills! That's so crazy, you guys. He built it himself. It's coming back, you guys. It's landing. Check it out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, there it is. Ryan, high five. Woo. Heck yeah. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, not a problem. I'll leave his channel in the description, guys. Check him out. That is so cool, guys. He's such a nice guy. He just saw me. We said hi, and I was like, hey, can I see your plane? And he was like, sure. So online, I heard that there's supposed to be like a leather couch just here, like randomly in the open. And uh, people use it to take like cool pictures for Instagram. Unless it's like way up in the distance, but I see nothing thing right now this place is so beautiful guys this is what I call desolate beauty I think I might sound crazy but I think I see something I wonder if that's the couch check it out you guys I didn't find the couch but I found this beat-up chair or whatever's left of it here in the middle of nowhere here is a chair I guess this is the replacement of the leather couch. Definitely not what I expected. All right, you guys, I don't know about y'all, but I think this is the best place to have lunch. So that's what's gonna happen right now. This is really cool, you guys. I have to admit, the view, my sandwich, I don't think it can get any better than this. We finally made it here to the Great Salt Lake State Park and I definitely underestimated that walk you guys but that doesn't matter because we're here. That right there is the Great Salt Terre. That's where this video started. And I think it's time to explore, look around, see what we can find. This place is famous for a few things. That includes camping. As you can see right over there, you can see people with their RVs. And also people bring their boats in order to go into the lake. Check it out here. There's a section with a ton of boats. And the last thing is, of course, the views, which is the reason why we're here for. Apparently, when it's good weather, people do get into the lake. And here there's showers, outdoor showers, so that you get all that salt off your body. Here, there's access to the beach. I'm guessing you just go down and then all around to that point over there. Right over there, you see the mountains, you see the clouds and the sun. That, I think it looks like Olympus. We found the entrance to heaven, guys. It's right here in Utah. There are some benches here, just in case you wanna have your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And if you like to cook, there's also grills available. And this park is considered small, but still, it has its own visitor center. Unfortunately, it is closed. They close at five, actually, which is kind of early. I see a lot of people still around, so bummer. And over here, there's like a lookout point. I see a few people there. Let's check it out. I found this plaque here, and it talks about the history of the Great Salt Terre. One interesting thing that they mentioned here, you guys, is that whenever people would come and swim in the Great Salt Lake, the salt concentration is so high that people can float. So there you go, guys. You don't need to go all the way to the Dead Sea in order to have that experience. Wow, you guys. Check out this amazing view. Isn't it so impressive? See, people can go all the way to the beach and all the way to that little edge over there. I'm guessing that place is great for pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and climb these rocks and see if I can get a better view. It's not hard to climb these rocks, but you do have to be careful. But look at the view. It's really too bad that this is my last day here in Utah. I've been loving it so far. The views are so amazing and I feel I didn't get to see all that it has to offer. I definitely have to come back. And if the view of the lake is not enough for you, you just have to turn back and you have a huge mountain right there. Utah is so crazy. We are right here and this is the whole 
lake. It's humongous. Actually guys, since we're here, I think it's fitting that I tell you guys a few facts about this place. But let me get over to the beach section. For starters, this lake is humongous. In fact, it is the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. And even though we consider this place to be huge today, it used to be even bigger. In prehistoric times, this lake used to cover much of what we now know as the state of Utah. And because of its salinity content, not a lot of animals or plants can actually live here. Or inside, I should say. There's a lot of birds and stuff, but not a lot of fish. What they do have here is a lot of brine shrimp. There is so much brine shrimp here in the lake that it makes Utah one of the largest harvesters of it. Those are just a few facts you guys but I think I have to turn around and show you this. Boom! The sun is right there. We're about to witness one of the best sunsets ever. you guys i think that's gonna be it for the video i really want to finish this with the sunset so i'm gonna do like a time lapse or something i'll show it to you at the end anyways i don't think there's a better way to end their video than right here super close to the great salt lake you could say we're almost in it it was so much fun to bring you guys along with me hopefully you guys think the same and if you do make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one always remember to be kind have an open mind I'll see you next time.